Hello everyone. The Photos app video editor makes it very simple to create videos that you can share with family, friends, and the world, and in this guide, we'll show you how to do it. On Windows 10, Photos is an essential app designed to help you to organize your pictures and videos. To create a video with video editor app, find video editor in Windows search. Open video editor app. Click new video on menu bar, the select new video project. Enter name of your video, or leave the default name, then select OK. You can also get this video editor by opening the Photos app. To add new media files to the video project. Under the Project Library section, click the Add button in the top left corner. Three options here. From this PC, from My Collections, and from the web. If you select from this PC options, you can browse and add your saved videos. If you select from My Collections options, the system will show you previously opened videos and photos, you can add from it. If you select from the web, you can add picture from the web collections. Check the media elements to begin your video. Click the place in storyboard button. You can also drag and drop the files to the storyboard. For delete media files in the storyboard. Check the media elements in storyboard, click the recycle icon in top right corner of the storyboard. For playing project, click the media files, then click the play button under the preview screen. To trim a video with this app. Under the storyboard section, select the video clip. Click the trim button from the toolbar. Use the controls to choose the trim section. After that click the Done button. To split a video clip into two or more parts. Under the Storyboard section, select the video clip. Click the Split button from the toolbar. Use the slider to choose the length of the clip. Click the Done button. If you want to split the video in multiple clips, repeat same steps. After you complete the steps, you'll end up with a video divided into multiple parts. To add title cards to this video project, under the storyboard section, click the add title card button. Click hold and drag the card to the location you want to show it. Click the text button from the toolbar. Select the text style from the list. Use the text box to insert custom text. Select the location using the layout options. Use the controls on the left side to specify the text duration and preview the changes. Click the done button. You can select the background color by click the background option from the toolbar. You can change title card duration by clicking down left corner of the title card.
select a motion effect for the image or video, such as zoom in center, zoom in right, pan left, tilt up and others. Use the controls on the left side to preview the changes. Click the done button. After you complete the steps, you may need to repeat the steps to apply the same or different motion effect to other parts of the video. To add 3D effects to a video project, use these steps. Under the storyboard section, select the media element. Click the 3D effects button from the toolbar. In the effects tab, select the 3D effect into the preview on the left. Use the controls on the left side to adjust the duration of the effect. To add 3D elements, select the library category in 3D library tab. Double click the element to add to the video. Use the controls on the left side to drag and position the element in the clip. You can also rotate and scale the effect using the controls. Click the done button. You can add filters to change the look of the images or video clips in your project. Under the storyboard section, select the media element. Click the Filters button from the toolbar. Select one of the 14 filters available, such as Classic, Adventure, Sepia, Inky, Loved, Pixel, etc. Use the controls on the left side to preview the changes. Click the Done button. To slow down or speed up a video clip in the storyboard, use these steps. Click the Speed button from the toolbar. Use the slider to choose the speed of the clip. You can rotate video clip by clicking this rotate button from the toolbar. To add background music to your project, click the background music button from the top right corner. Select the soundtrack you want to use. You can click the play button to preview the music. Set the music volume using the slider option. Click the Done button. To add custom audio or narration to your video project. Click the custom audio button from the top right corner. Click the add audio file button. Select the audio track. Click the open button. Use the controls on the left side to specify where the audio should play. Click the done button. When you complete your editing, click the finish video button on the top right corner. Use the video quality drop down menu and select the quality of the video. Check the use hardware accelerated encoding option, if applicable. Click the export button. Select a folder to save the video project as a .mp4 file. Click the export button. Once you complete the steps, the video will be created and exported, and you can now play it with any device that supports MP4 playback. I hope you like, thanks for watching the video.